talk a little bit more about tuning today. I touched on this before briefly how the thing that made the biggest difference in me tuning was making it easier for me to tune. Traditionally, you had to use a laptop to change the PIDs on your quad and do anything. Several months ago when I first wanted to try to make tuning easier and do it more, I picked up this little 8 inch Windows tablet so I can have the Chrome apps for Betaflight and for BL Heli and all that stuff and honestly I still hardly used it. See the problem for me with this is that to use it you still have to want to carry this which is an extra thing and you know these cords so like this has a special cable that plugs in that then gives you a full USB that then you can plug in and then grab your quad and then plug that in. But then to actually use it, I mean, with pit tuning, where you're gonna be going through and trying to like change one num, ah. Okay, I guess point is, this just isn't as convenient to use as I was hoping it would be. And there always have been options in like every firmware, I think, to set up something with the switches on your transmitter so that in certain positions you can raise certain values. And that does help a lot. But what was even better was getting a board that supports beta flights on screen display. All right, I've got all sorts of things strapped to me. I got my transmitter, my goggles, and I've even got the uh, stick cam so I can show you just how I'm using the uh, OSD using my transmitter. And I've also been getting some requests lately to show a stick cam while I'm flying, so I'll, I'll leave it up while we're doing the thing. So what I wanna show you is how I kinda get like my initial tune. I set up my beta flight on-screen display to show all of my PID values. Then I go to the adjustment tab and assign whatever parameter I wanna work on to a couple of switches. So. Uh, what I do is I have this switch set up so that depending on which position I'm in, it changes which uh, parameter I'm modifying. So when it's in the middle position, we're going to be working on the roll P term, and then this switch will modify that term. So when it's up, you can see the value increasing, and when it's down, you see the value decreasing. And why I like to do this is because while you're flying around, you can change it without even having to land. So while flying, I can change my roll P, see what that does. If I wanna raise it higher, we can raise it while we're flying. See if we like that. And you can see how it's really convenient for when you are just trying to get a good baseline tune, when you're just starting your tune out. You can make big changes without having to be continuously landing. Like the minute you identify that, okay, the, we got too high on the P term, we just grab that switch, lower it down. So let me bring this in for a landing. So that's how I like to make big changes. Like I said, when I'm starting a tune and you know I've lowered all my numbers down and I wanna get it into the right general range, that's how I do it. Uh, the nice thing is, is that when you're flying around making those big changes, trying to get it right, if you do something that's like way off, like the changes don't automatically save. So if you get something that's like way off from what you need it to be, you just unplug and it will reset to where it was when you started. Um, if you want to save it, you need to either plug the quad into your computer and open up the Betaflight configurator and save it that way, or you can save it using the Betaflight OSD. So what you do there is you go center throttle, yaw left, hitch up, and now you've entered the OSD. And then if you want to save any changes that you've made, you just uh, save and reboot. And you hear it do its thing. But anyway, once I've got my tune to what I would say is like 70 or 80% of the way there, I stop using the switches to change the values because um, that's when you start kind of changing everything at once and trying to get everything to interact just the right. So hold on, let me get the, one second. Okay, so what I've done is I went back into the Betaflight configurator and removed the, uh, the PIDs from being displayed in the uh, upper corner because that's not how I'd fly around normally. So once I've gotten the tune like 70, 80% of the way there, uh, it just becomes a matter of like flying around and looking for things that you might want to tune out. So if I feel that like the pitch axis is maybe not quite as locked in, then I can change that. So how I would do that is land and then re-enter the Betaflight menu. And now I can access all of the PID parameters together. So 
I just enter profile, go down to PID, enter that, and now I can change anything I want. So let's say we wanted to try and uh, raise the pitch P by one, do that, and then we just back out. Um, and then we exit, now we can try it out, and we haven't saved yet, just like before. If we want to save, we have to hit um, save and reboot. But yeah, and just go in and see how I like that. A little bit of prop wash there. So that's kind of the process, is I'll use the first setup where I use the switches to make big changes and have it displayed on the on-screen display so I can watch what I'm doing. And then from there, just continuously uh, change things as you go just by jumping into the menu and, and cause all the terms are intermixed. So as you change one, you're gonna have to adjust another. And, and that just kind of goes on like almost indefinitely. This quad is not set up to have Betaflight OSD. This is running the flight controller that I used to use. The tune is about as good as I would get it before I started using these new tools. So using a computer or a tablet or, or whatever, um, I would get a tune about as good as the tune that's on this and then I really wouldn't invest the time to get it that last like 10 or 20% of the way there because it, it just, Honestly, it was just me being lazy and not wanting to break out the laptop frequently and just wanting to fly. So um, having these new tools made a huge difference for me. So something I want to do is go for a flight with this. So with the quad that I just flew, I would say that I did, I don't know, maybe one or two really big tuning sessions and then, I don't know, maybe I went in and made a few small changes here and there. With this one, a different story. I, I don't even know how many times I've gone in there and changed something because I just, I do it all the time. Anytime I notice something, I go in there and just continue to use the OSD to like keep making it a little bit better. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see a difference. You can see the street lights are on. I got some good flying in here before the sun went down. I, this is a pretty fun spot. I've actually got to rush home because uh, I'm already kind of late. Yeah, I told Lance I was gonna help him with his show tonight and we're it's going live in like 10 minutes. Seriously, worst sense of time. Who put this camera here? Worst sense of time. I was out vlogging completely last time, track of time. Almost didn't make it, so I hated the vlog. Okay, I, uh, I have to do this thing, so incoming lens palm. Hey, uh, I just wanted to take a minute to kind of like interject a little chit chat. Because I've been really like wrapped up in traveling and working and videos and stuff. I haven't really taken a minute to just update on some of the stuff going on. So yeah, and some of you guys know this stuff. You've been following my Instagram or some of the drone Facebook pages. But so I joined Rotor Riot and I'm really psyched to be part of the team. Been doing a lot of stuff with them. Uh, most recently, uh, we shot a build video, and that is out on the Rotor Riot channel. Everything I used in that build video is for sale in the Rotor Riot store, 
And most exciting is we worked with Mini Quad Club to make the frame kind of special, make it uh, a La Drib edition. We made the standoffs purple and threw in some extra stuff to make the build like I always do it. And like, dude, the, the frame sold out in the first six days. Like the first batch went and just that, thanks guys. That was just awesome. Uh, we are for sure working to get the frames back in stock as soon as possible. So yeah, if you can't tell, I'm excited about everything that's going on and everything that's coming. So stay tuned and I can't wait to keep sharing uh, the adventure and the journey and all the fun stuff.